All right. This video, or rather this PowerPoint, is going to be on the Chicago Avenue line, which was certainly one of the heaviest in the system. It is currently the heaviest bus route in the Metro Transit system. It's just going to be just the Chicago Avenue portion of it from downtown out to 54th. So here we go. And on the map, it was through routed with the Penn, uh, the Fremont and the Penn Avenue line. And it came down North 7th Street. And then it took 8th Street through downtown to 2nd Avenue South. And then out, uh, yeah, there's 8th Street. And then out 6th Street to Chicago. And then Chicago Avenue all the way out to 54th. Here's a little better view in downtown. So it came down 7th Street, 2nd Avenue North. Oops, I'm sorry, 2nd Avenue North, 8th Street to 2nd Avenue South. And then it shifted over to 6th Street. And then 8th Avenue is, was the original name for Chicago Avenue. And by the way, in, late, in the last year or so, uh, they got rid of the trackage on 8th Street and it wound up using 6th Street all the way through. So anyway, uh, here we start up at 1st Avenue North. And um, this is actually a, let's see, yeah, okay, uh, this is 8th Street, 1st Avenue North, and this is leading to Hawthorne Avenue. And here's that same intersection with this kind of unusual switch uh, to turn on to uh, First Avenue North. And so for that last year, it went and it made this movement onto First Avenue North over to Sixth Street. Remember Gambles? This was uh, the headquarters yeah. for Gambles, I believe. <clears throat> And so here's the corner of 8th and Hennepin. Uh, this is the Pence building, home of the, whoop, home of the Dan Patch line. Um, and uh, here it is crossing the Hennepin Avenue streetcars. This was one of those buildings where the overhead wire, if you can barely see the span wire, and there are eye bolts in the building, and these eye bolts are still there. It's kind of fun to go and look at them in downtown when you see them. <clears throat> so this is also at 8th Street. This is looking uh, south. This is the Dayton's building right here. And uh, this is also looking south. Um, this was a Schinders for a long time. Here it's a drugstore. Now it's a, a restaurant that has a big party deck up on the roof. And here we are up in one of the big office buildings. This is the corner of Nicollet Avenue, not Nicollet Mall then, and 8th Street. And here you can see a Chicago Avenue streetcar coming down and uh, here you can see Dayton's and kind of the multiple buildings that comprise Dayton's. Um, and this is, the, this is the corner of 8th and Nicollet in the 19, probably about 1930. Um, the Dayton's building. Um, Marcel, what is that? That's a beauty parlor there. And one of the little uh, Bobby signals sitting out in the middle of the street. This is the corner of 8th and Marquette. Here's the Chicago cars on 8th Street. Here's Marquette. This is taken from the Fauché Tower. Nice shadow. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of tell what from, tell what it is from the shadow, can't you? Yeah. Uh here's the intersection. This is a newspaper photo. Um and this is World War II and uh, here's a Women's Army Corps band parading through the intersection. Past the New England Furniture Company. I wonder if that was a like a bond drive <clears throat> march or something. I good question. It wouldn't surprise me. Ah, uh, it keeps flipping on me here. So then it went another block to Second Avenue South and turned the corner onto Second Avenue. Here's the Minneapolis Club, which is still there. Um, a couple of these buildings I think are still there. There's City Hall poking up. And so it went two blocks down Second Avenue, and here it is turning onto Sixth Street.
and it's moving down 6th Street. Um, hmm. I, I think this is approaching 3rd Avenue South, maybe. Yeah, this kind of looks like 2nd Avenue South here. And here's another uh, photo at uh, 2nd Avenue, uh, at 3rd Avenue South. We've got a couple of them. And so half the cars would go Chicago Penn and half the cars would go Chicago Fremont. And here's a place to serve both ice cream and beer all at the same time. Float. Mm, beer floats. Beer floats, yeah. This is uh, the corner of 3rd Avenue. Uh, so uh, the car is on, eight, on 6th Street crossing 3rd Avenue. And this is that same intersection. This is down at, I think, Portland Avenue. And the McGill lithograph, this was the area down by the Star Tribune where there was all kinds of publishing uh, businesses located. There was kind of a, uh, a grouping of them. And so now it, it is left downtown. I think you've probably seen these two pictures. Uh, these are newspaper photos of a bad snowstorm with, with loaded streetcars that are passing up crowds of people that have been waiting for a long time. This is the corner of 17th. This would be right where I-94 is today. And uh, same place. This is 19th and Chicago near Franklin Avenue. Not a very good picture. This is one uh, that I ran in Twin Cities by trolley. This is the corner of 22nd and Chicago. And I just love this shot because you got the crossing guard and the kids going to school. And, you know, streetcars were just the ordinary thing. That's kind of the message of this photo. Kids, uh, boys in knee pants. Now, this is looking uh, towards the intersection of 24th in Chicago. And this is um, one of a series of photos from about 1914 of various streets where they were going, they were about to repave the streets. So the tracks had been put in in the dirt and then uh, now they're going to go through and uh, repave them and they had to like rebuild the tracks completely. This church burned down back in, I wanna say the 1980s or 90s and it was replaced by a newer church. But you're looking south on Chicago. And this is somewhere down in that vicinity. Uh, something, so once again, a newspaper photo, something is backed up the streetcars. I don't know what. They don't seem to have any passengers. Uh, no, that, I suppose the passengers have bailed. But this is, you know, if anything got in the way of these things, you know, this is what happened. We have quite a few of these pictures in the, in the, in the collection where there's just a whole bunch of streetcars backed up because something got screwed up. This is about 25th in Chicago. Here we are at Lake in Chicago. Swenson's Furniture, by gosh. And this is a, a hats. Hats. Hat store. This is uh, before President Kennedy. So it would have been in the corner, would have been Robert Shoes by then or not yet? No, that was the building. Here you're looking northeast. So you can see the Sears building behind. Robert's okay. would have been on the corner to the yeah. left out of the screen. And and yes, Robert Shoes was there at the time. Here's another one. And 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 this building got burned down in the Floyd George Floyd riots. Here's another view. Okay, here's Robert Shoes. You can see the sign, <coughs> which was taken to show the Christmas decorations. Yeah, too bad. This intersection is just kind of shot. And they tore down the Robert's Shoes building. Uh, this is like 34th in Chicago. Just a little snapshot, but I like this with the ladies in their hats getting off. 
Uh, this is down at about 30, this should be 36th in Chicago. And this is approaching 38th, you're looking northeast. The Nokomis Theater, uh, the building is now in use as a, uh, as a fire and metal arts building. Um, if, if you are into like welding or glass blowing or something, you can go in here and rent, uh, you know, furnace space and welding space and all that. And that's what they do in here. And in the lobby, they still got the tiles on the floor of the St. Nicomas Theater. Hmm. Kind of cool. And this is looking the other way at the intersection. This building is still there. There was a Y, a short line Y at 38th Street. And that's what you're seeing right here. And of course, now the whole intersection is the George Floyd Square. This is a block further south at 39th. And here you're at uh, about 41st. I think this is 41st Street right here. Uh, a Norton and Peel photo. I'm not sure what they were taking it for. They had some, must have had some customer. At 48th was another short line Y at 48th in Chicago. This building is certainly still there. And here's a car sitting on the Y. The Y is on the west side of the street. This building is now the Turtle Bread, is a, another Turtle Bread building. And this is just south of Minnehaha Creek. The car is coming down the hill to Minnehaha Creek, which is out of the camera to the left. And then uh, this is the intersection of 54th in Chicago. The streetcar is pulled past. He's about to go and back into the Y right here. And this is a photo taken after they switched and uh, put the streetcar, put the streetcars on 6th Street. So this is 6th Street at Nicollet. You can see Murray's restaurant right here in the Plymouth building. And then this last one is at 54th in Chicago. <clears throat> they, uh, Twin City Lines converted the Chicago Penn Fremont line to bus, but there was a lag of a couple of three months when before the city formally approved the abandonment. And so they had to keep the tracks in place, the overhead wire powered, and run a franchise car late at night uh, about once a month. As, as a legal thing. And so while during that period, the Minnesota Rail Fans Association had a fan trip. And so they ran a fan trip over Chicago Penn Fremont, taking advantage of the fact that even though the line had been converted to bus, you could still run streetcars over it, which had to be kind of neat and weird. So that's it.